hourly workers across Minneapolis continue their fight for fair scheduling and paid sick time. They held a rally today at City Hall, the same day City Council set a public hearing to take up working conditions for employees. Ashley Roberts joins us live from downtown with the story. Ashley. Kim, retail, fast food, and Target field employees rallied today for change. Many of them say they have in the past and continue to go to work sick, afraid of what will happen if they don't clock in. These workers delivered 6,000 petitions to Minneapolis City Council in support of their scheduling, paid sick time, and ending what they call wage theft. Their efforts are connected to the Working Families Agenda, a proposal Mayor Betsy Hodges brought to the table this spring. Hodges said, says low-income and hourly workers aren't benefiting from the city's growth. Hodges and community activists want to make sure the workers can earn sick time, have reasonable schedules, and are paid fairly for the hours they work. Those at the heart of the push held a rally on the steps of City Hall, some of them single mothers struggling to make ends meet. It's really hard. It's stressful. And I just want it to be fair for everybody. I know I'm not the only single mother out here, and it's a lot of people struggling. And we all deserve a better life. It is America. <laughs> and I understand there are employers, but where does the respect start? When do we start to matter as individuals and employees? And there has been some debate over what this working families ordinance will cover. Some of the proposals on the table include a 14 day advance notice of work schedules, also scheduling standards uh, that allow employees adequate time to rest between their shifts. This morning, the council set a hearing date for November 4th. So nothing was decided today, but again, a public hearing set for November 4th. All right, we will continue to follow this story. Ashley, thank you.